There we go. Alrighty, so if you guys missed the last stream, uh, we have a nice little area for our animals now. We have Sunday the cow and Strips the chicken. <laughs> um, and we gave them like a nice little pen set up in the second area, which I'm really proud of. We have a lot of makers going. We've gone through the second mines fully. Uh, we unlocked two bonus areas, which is the lava caves and the bean like island thingy. Um, and that's the main thing. I'm going to say this now because I think what I'm going to do is maybe by the halfway point in stream, I'm going to end the poll. Uh, but we are doing a poll for who I am going to marry in this game. If you want to vote, uh, exclamation mark poll, this is going to be your last chance this morning. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, I'm sorry, it's going to be already closed, obviously. Um, you guys get to decide between any of the bachelors and or bachelorettes. If you have not already voted and you want to, feel free. Um, if you don't know this game, it's fine. You can literally look at them and be like, that one's cute. It's cool. <laughs> I don't mind. <laughs> Oh, I love you lots as well, Pepper. Thank you. I know for sure. Is the chicken a stripper? Good for her. Get that money. You know it. We support that here. <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Zero Dawn trophies. I thought it was Forbidden West still. Oh, sorry. I know. We were swapping back and forth. Uniting the tribes involves side quests and completing them while also making sure a certain character is alive for the end. I chose wrong my first playthrough. Actually, train dummies, that one's a pain. I recommend a map. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Mary Diori when I play this game. He's very dreamy. I think Iori, Damon, and uh, Rena are like usually the top choices from what I've seen online. Um, that being said, in our personal poll within this channel, we've had... Somehow we've had 115 votes from 114 voters, so one of you's double voted, which is fine. I guess. Um, and currently Rena is in the lead. Damon is in second. There is only seven votes between the two of them, actually. Um, who else? I think Jack is in third with, or sorry, not Jack. Ralph is in third with 14. Uh, and then Laura is in fourth with 13, so. It's not bad. Oh, that was me. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I figured it was like, you know, someone who was in the same, because I don't know if it's based on IP address or like how this website does it, but I figured it was based on two people from the same household voting. So. Yeah, random. It says they are in the Nora region. Vanessa, enjoy your lurk. Married Emilio because he looks a lot like my fiance. Now I want to play Horizon Zero Dawn again. <laughs> hey, Blue, how are you? Added chocolate hoops on top of my fruit and yogurt. Best thing ever. That sounds really good. Sounds really, really good. Alrighty. Let's see. Um, so we're going into spring 20 tomorrow, which is... I have hiccups, sorry. It's Josetsu's birthday. We do have a birthday gift for him in our inventory. I hope he likes a couple day old shellfish soup. It's probably cold. Um... And we have like a pet derby at the end of the season, which I think is an interactive event. If I remember correctly, this game usually has like one non-interactive, like one cutscene event, and then one interactive, usually. Um, so we're, we're training Tater for that. And by training, I mean he's getting lots of pets, treats, and locks. <laughs> oh, Babbitt, not at all. No, no, I don't mind at all, to be honest. Um, I'm totally very much joking about the, the extra. It's all good. It is all good. I hope he loves lukewarm pocket soup. Same here. Same here. I'm sure he'll like it. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> That's so gross. Alrighty. Don't know these people that well. I just decided to vote Ralph because I thought it was kind of cool that he was a forest ranger. Yeah, no, that's fair. Like, I don't really know them all that well either. I don't think I really befriended them all that much in my first playthrough. Oh my goodness, Andrew! Binsoir Wee Wee Baguette also one month until three years. I know. Oh, that's a little weird. Because <laughs> I, I remember when Andrew came in for the first time, you know? 
That's a little weird. <laughs> How are you doing, dude? Thank you so, so very much. No, wrong inventory. Bear with me here, chat. Bear with me. Okay, let's water our crops, say hello to our animals, and then we will head out and cause shenanigans in the village, probably. I'm becoming a fossil. I mean, at least it's a sparkly fossil. It's goals, you know? Oh, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoy uh, this. <laughs> just, just enjoy it. Oh, there we go. Look at us go. Okay. I might make some more of those, actually. The alert was so cute, wasn't it? Andrew, you probably recognize it. It's just from stream elements. I've just kind of adapted some of their stuff. You're really good at remembering people. I try to, especially if they're like regulars in chat, I try my best to be like, okay, I know you came in during this, or like, I try to remember. I'm not gonna say I'm the best, and I often don't believe that I'm remembering correctly, so then I don't trust myself. <laughs> Uh, what's this, Pepper? What's this? Chat's moving too fast. Stop moving. <gasps> oh, it's so pretty. I don't have any, like, Pokeball merch like that. Look at how gorgeous that is. I like the colors. Mine was an interesting one. We'll leave it at that. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew and I, I, I wasn't so sure about Andrew at first, but... Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't mind knowing. Oh god, okay. Okay, so, mm, I like this game a lot, but this is the one thing about it that's a little bit tedious, is clearing out the farm every half a day, because it literally grows back that fast. Okay. Yeah, we did, Pepper. <laughs> I'm too deep into reading our Am I the Asshole post. <gasps> Rebecca, my current favorite guilty pleasure, low key. Uh, it kind of leaks into there a little bit, but there is the best of Reddit Reddit updates. And I like it because you usually get the full tea, you know? And a lot of the posts start off in our Am I the Asshole. <laughs> so, uh, 10 out of 10 would recommend. So as you remember me when I never chat, I try my best. I try my best. And sometimes it's just literally just certain usernames stick out in my mind, and I'm like, I like that username. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I can do it quickly, it's just a bit obnoxious. Uh, Rena, hello, how are you? You don't expect people to remember you. I think, and this is like a very much a pet peeve of mine, uh, and it's because I don't want anyone to feel bad, but when people come in after a while and they're like, hi, do you remember me? And I'm like, uh, yeah, that pretty much, yeah, that noise, that mooing noise, absolutely me. Updates only make better. <laughs> uh, I always feel so guilty if I don't, and it's just like, it puts you in an awkward spot. Exactly, Pepper. It's, you know, first impressions are definitely not always correct. Just about learned everyone's names in chat, and I'm happy I've watched enough streams to recognize names now. My favorite are the people, and I know there's a couple of you in here who come over from YouTube, and like, you know, you're watching the VODs, and you're, you're hearing me talk to people in chat, and you come over and you're like, I know you, and I know you, even though, <laughs> you know, you've never actually met them. We have a couple people like that. I'm just happy to be here. I don't mind if people don't remember you. No, I, I remember you. I remember you. My long ass name helping me. I kid, I reckon it was I help, helped. I came in during Final Fantasy VII Remake. I mean, yeah, that too. <laughs> to be fair, just when people come in and they're just really nice, I'm like, okay. This is a nice person. I, I will try to remember. <laughs> and we both talk about Final Fantasy VII, so. Yeah, see, that's the other thing. When people change the usernames, I try my darndest to remember, but it's, it's sometimes it's a bit of a challenge. 
And oftentimes, like, I'll know that you've been around for a long time, but I couldn't tell you what the OG username was. I just know you. <laughs> so. I remember my own Twitch name sometimes. I stream mostly my name, and I'm like, oh, that's me. <laughs> Um, oh, I got those. We can do that. We can do that. I'm gonna try to make sure we talk to everyone today. It seems I used this name before. Yes, yes, so I knew I knew exactly who you are. That's because I want Crystal to see in someone else's stream someone had the perfect username. The poison for Cusco. I love that name. That's a phenomenal idea. <laughs> Thank you for reposting it. Best of writer updates and mainly the first sort I collect on made me feel so bad for the original post. I need to be more careful. Yes, yeah, no, there's some where it's it's like really bad. Um, but then there's some where it's 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 tea, you know? It's tea. Twitch needs a feature where it says user previously had this username. Yeah, that would be nice. Oh, Clem's done it again. Where'd he hide my baby? Oh, hey, Crystal. Mind giving me a hand here? Um, Clemens hid your motorcycle? Yeah, I hid my bike somewhere and- Wait, how do you know that? Dang, you psychic or something? Nah, I just played this game before. <laughs> so you know how much I love my motorcycle, right? I'm always tinkering around with her whenever I get the free time. Or any free time. Which means Clem ends up having to do all the work around the shop. And yeah, I do feel kind of bad about that, but- I don't know, I think Clem finally snapped and hid my bike somewhere. Finally found you, you're the miscreant who inappropriately parked your motorcycle, are you not? Wait, you know where my bike is? I do indeed, it snaps way into an exhibit in the museum. I mean, it is a very nice bike. Seriously? Hi, hon. <laughs> you spooked me. Ugh, why'd Clem put it here? Well, I for one am just glad I've found its owner now. Please remove it at once. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. Whoa, there's a motorcycle, cool. Got good taste, kid, man. Now that I get a good look, my baby looks so awesome chilling over here. I could stare at her all day. I would prefer it if you did not stare at it all day. Are you talk or taking it with you or not? Don't forget what you came here for. Golly, this sure is a trendy museum putting a motorcycle on display. My, how modern. Right? Though, I don't recall seeing this exhibit on before. How long will it be here? Till everyone in town's gotten a good look at her. Oh, no, 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 I'll be having none of that. Take this home this instant. She's literally just put that thing back where it came from, or so help me right now. That was a random cutscene. What's up, hon? I was just gonna say, uh, a random. Um, when you were fighting the, uh, wait, he's played, he's played this one, right? Yes, fully. Okay. And so at one point you have to go through, there's like three different, uh, facilities you have to go to. And one of them you have to fight a giant, like, underwater creature. Um, like the, most of the base is underwater. Um, Crystal saw this short little clip I took of it, of it glitching out and floating above the water. Yeah, that was weird. It was kind of fun. Just wanted to say that. Oh, okay. Do you want to... I can, like, show that later on if you want. Do you still have the clip? It's such a shit. Yeah. I wish it was long. I can figure it out. I... Yeah, it always is recording. Hi, Natalie. Welcome on. And I'm, I know I'm missing some chat here, you guys. Uh, can't even remember how I found this stream, but you're always on the mornings for me when not a lot of other people are, and the vibes are always cozy. Oh, thank you so much for the lurk as well. I really do appreciate it. Still use your bullet journal? It is right beside me. Every day, trying to at least do my, like, habit tracker, uh, if not writing down things I need to do. I'm changing my name, but then I don't want the hassle. Ostomus, good morning. I think some of my accounts are still... See, I know that name. Faye, I know you. <laughs> I mean, I already knew you, but like, now I remember, you know? Oftentimes you just have to remember 
Or just have to tell me the name and I'll remember. I'm a one name pony on this account. Name my new ACNH Island Bubble Tea. That's cute. But changing. Oh! Amy, hello! Just sending some three year sub love. What is time? I know. Press hug. I was, you know what? A lot of people are coming out for three years, and I was trust. I was just thinking, I'm like, what happened three years ago? What happened three years ago in March, chat? I know. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> I know where everyone's come from. Thank you so very much. I appreciate that. Uh, changing my name, but it's one of those. I have it for a few accounts now, so it's kind of ingrained in. Yep. Yeah. Um. From my stream, I forget who is who, which is sex. I never have that many people in my stream. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes you gotta have your regulars to kind of remember. I remember the first couple people, like regulars in my stream. I also remember the first person we banned. <laughs> I remember the username still, um, which is kind of funny. This is kind of funny. Why did they not put Lars in the potential romance list? There's a lot of people in this game. I think they should have, but. Um, let me catch up. You start doing a bullet journal. It's fun. It's fun. It's enjoyable. Playing Mario Odyssey. Yes. Yes, I was. Is time real? Do we know the world wasn't created with everything in it last Thursday? No, we don't, but I'm going to pretend it's that's not it. <laughs> Pandemic literally erased a few years. Yeah. Kind of wish I'd found you when New Horizons came out. It was probably a really fun and cozy time. It was fun. Um... Personally, I wouldn't say chat was extra cozy during that. I'm not going to say it was bad, because it wasn't. Obviously, you guys were amazing. But it was also very chaotic. <laughs> um, the months after, it was it was much more cozy, because like we had people who stayed around. Um, but the first few weeks, it was like very a lot. <laughs> Let's do it again. I'm sick today. Any tips for sore throats and somehow itchy ears? Oh, I hate that. I get that too. Nose, ears, and throat are all really interconnected, I know. Um, if you have any, like, uh, throat coat tea, or just tea in general, to be honest, just keep up your liquids, you know? I hope you feel better soon. <laughs> Arena, right? Alright, the town hall looks so much nicer now, I imagine the tourists will like that. I think they will too. I'm just getting cutscenes. I forgot that this game doesn't trigger cutscenes as you enter a new area. It's just kind of if you hit like a, a zone. Oh, am I getting a cutscene with Ralph? <laughs> What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh, this Nard thing. It's the animal trap I laid. Sorry about that. I never considered that it would catch a person instead. It's meant for smaller animals, so it's not all that strong. Doesn't look like you have any injuries that I can see. Uh, why do I lay traps? It's all part of the job. I am a ranger, after all. I'll have it off you in a second. Hold still. There you go. Free as a bird. Try running around. See how it feels. He's like, I'll run laps. <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Doesn't look like you're limping or anything, so that's a good sign. You should be alright. Again, I'm sorry to put you through that. I'm sure getting caught in a trap is the last thing on your farming to-do list for the day. I've been saying traps are here for an injured rabbit in this area. I want to give it the treatment it needs, but it's too nimble for me. I'm still determined to help the poor thing. I just need to play the long game. By the way, I've laid out other traps in this area for it. Be sure to watch your step around here. I'll see you around. Uh, oh, do you have a sore throat as well? I'm sorry you guys aren't feeling so good. There's that fox again. Um, Alright, so we need to get a pink flower for someone, right? I'm gonna go do that right away before I forget, because I will. It was very triumphant music, wasn't it? Hey, what are you up to, did I? I swear for now, but it's doing nothing for the itchy ears. Yeah, maybe try taking a decongestant. Uh, I hate that feeling. Mike is saying allergy meds. Like an antihistamine, but... Um... Uh -huh. 
There we go. Okay, pink flowers. Gargling warm salt water. Yeah, not pleasant, but it does work a lot. I always take allergy meds before anything else. Is it normally that? Yes, yeah. I know that pain. <laughs> the fun game of in the spring of, am I sick or is this allergies? <laughs> I feel like crap, so. Hey, MCP, we just had a we just had a cutscene with him. Just had a cutscene with him. Alrighty. Um. Oops, sorry, I'm uh I've been playing Sandrock obviously in the evening, so I'm gonna be a little out of place. Uh, I want to buy more mushroom spores, I think. Um, but I think we only have those ones available. Uh, cutscenes galore, though. Angela, Angela! Dear me, Angela must be out. That's alright, you'll do just fine. I have some pickles that have been brining for ten years. Would you like to try them with me, dear? Hold up, do you mean me? She sure does. You're not going to turn my poor little grandma down, are you? Um, not after you phrased it like that. Okay, now say ah. Uh. Oh, she's giving him the pickle. <laughs> eat up now, eat up. And what do you think? How do they taste? It's uh, got a very unique flavor. Unique, huh? Nice save there, buddy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm generally afraid of swallowing this. <laughs> yes, yes, to savor them all you like, my dear. Might as well try a bite myself. Scrumptious ten years makes all the difference. Now that I think of it, I have another jar of pickles in the basement that's been down there for a hundred years. Perhaps I should open those up too while I'm at it. Uh, hey, wow, would you look at the time? I totally forgot I had to do some urgent repairs on the boat today, so I'm gonna go do that. Catch you later. <laughs> oh god. Oh my, that Emilio is quite the busy bee. What? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I just walked in at the end of the cutscene and then it ends? Okay. Alrighty. Ear oh yeah, ear infections. I had a lot of those as a kid and they were just awful. <laughs> I hate I hate anything to do with like ear stuff. Um, alright, do we have any other different mushroom spores or is it just the one? I think I need to sell the other kinds of mushrooms I picked up. Yeah, I had a lot of ear infections and blockages and stuff as a kid, and I vividly remember, you know, going into the doctor's office and kind of just like laying my head down on like whatever flat surface I could, probably usually my dad's like shoulder or arm. <laughs> um, and just waiting because obviously like, you know, public doctor's office, it'd be take a while to be seen um and just being so miserable and so sad just trying to get any relief from that pressure okay so i don't think i have sold off those yet so that's probably my issue here vincent not at all how are you throat infections and tonsillitis also end up with uh rheumatic fever at one point because of it oh dear I, other than the ear infections, I was usually pretty good. I had strep throat as a kid, which was very nasty. Uh, and I remember I, I lost a lot of weight because I couldn't swallow anything. Wait. Right, <laughs> museum. <laughs> I'm like, where, where am I going? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing better now that I'm, I'm streaming with you guys, I think. Got my tonsils out as an adult. Yeah. Because it was just that bad. Okay, we got some silver ore. Cave Earl. So far, thank you for the follow. We haven't gotten too much that's been new here. Hi, Ace. How are you today? Town metal and I 
Uh, jewelry ring. Oh, that's actually nice. Oh, wait a minute, it was Kosetsu's birthday today, wasn't it? Heck, I forgot about him. <laughs> Where is he? I have you, I have um, several day old pocket soup. Kosetsu. Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> All of halls akin to the town's castle, thus its renovation marks the dawn of a new era. Oh, I did not expect to serve a gift on the anniversary of my birth. You have made me happy indeed. Yay, friends! Mmm, <laughs> pocket soup, you know it. Bullet list of important key moments in my story, which will change. Since a big thing that happens is kind of not reversible. I'd rather have everything down. Past me did a good thing already by creating outfits for characters that didn't have one. Still have to give them updated looks though. I'm uh, I'm glad that you're getting on top of that. There we go. I said I would try to talk to everyone today, so. There are more tourists coming now. I hope the town keeps getting busier. Hello. Good day to you, Crystal. Hello. Is it just me, or have we been getting more tourists lately? I'm not imagining it, am I? Hunting for- Oh, a shiny swab blue! I hope you get it. That's one of my favorite shinies. Uh, I got mine from an outbreak as well. Oh, dear Lynn. <laughs> that is very much just squares and rectangles on a piece of paper, but okay. It's been a while now since you moved out to the countryside. How have you been? We're the same as ever. Guess what? Shella finally got the boyfriend she's always wished for. Doing that and you being gone, I'm the only one left for our Saturday tea parties. It's a little lonely. Redacted. It. It's a little lonely, redacted. <laughs> it's a little lonely uh, doing it all by myself, but I'm going to keep holding them anyway. Let me know if you're ever in the area. Your best friend, Sandra. Welcome, are you looking for a certain type of flower? Uh, what was I doing just now? I was reading a letter from one of my old friends in the city. I've been here for some time now, but she still sends me letters every once in a while. Anyways, if you'd like, I could pick out some flowers for you. What kind would you prefer? Oh! Um... You know what? I'm gonna go pleasant and subtle. Okay, please wait here a moment. <laughs> Morse code. Please look alright, my bouquet making skills aren't as good as grandpa's, but I hope it'll suffice. Um, by the way, Crystal, I heard that you work on a farm. Out of curiosity, what types of flowers bloom there? Ah, oh, sorry for asking such a strange question out of the blue. Pressing wildflowers is one of my favorite pastimes, so I couldn't help but ask. With pressed flowers, I can capture important moments of nature and share them with others. It's like a diary of the seasons, or of nature itself. Or a... story... Of season. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll leave. I'll go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Rizzy, enjoy your lark. Thank you. The letter is redacted. That's true. All the blo all the boxes. I send those flowers to my friend who lives in the city. Goodness, I'm rambling on about myself, aren't I? I'm sorry about that. Well then, I'll see you later. Thank you for brightening up my day. Yeah, that was very intense music. Is that really loud on your guys' end? Because I feel like the standard day-to-day -day music is just the right volume, but that music was very loud. <laughs> I'm crying right out to sub Brendan Fraser's award sets in speech. He is! He's such a sweetheart. It's a little loud. Uh, let's see. We'll see if that's a bit better. <laughs> this town needs is more flowers. You can never have enough flowers. Oh. Chase music plays when you're not being chased. <laughs> oh, uh, I think I might be able to get my new outfit here, chat. I keep forgetting about that. Seventeen pages long. I have like nineteen characters that need outfits, and seven or eight need more detailed personalities. 
Because the ice summer just not it. Uh, all right, let's hope this was enough uh, cloth to make a new outfit. Oh my god, we actually did get flowers from that chat. Lynn's bouquet, a bouquet Lynn it made especially for you. It can be placed on a countertop. Oh, she's so sweet. Oh, it's so pretty. Happy spins. <laughs> When you enter a room in a game you've never seen before and it's full of save states and extra health. <laughs> I'm in danger, yes. <laughs> my favorite, my favorite is when you're playing a brand new game. And like maybe it's a more spooky game, maybe there's like things you could get hurt by. Um, and you enter a new area and the game, like its little tip just goes, you can press B to run. And it's like, oh, <laughs> are we gonna be running? <laughs> Dr. Stephanie, he's important when making accessories, but materials are just as vital. Freaking as good ore makes me feel like a million G. Or a million gold, however you want to read that. Oh, Blue, I love that, yeah. Especially Studio Ghibli. So I just wanted the- oh, I only need four? Oh my god. That's nothing. Got it, I'll be done by our next business day, so come pick it up then. Uh, can I get a different hat, too? Oh. I mean, it's kind of cute, but it does make my head look massive. Oh, that changes the band color. Okay. Why do- oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I guess I'm just really big-headed. That's cute as heck. I kind of want that. I want a flower crown chat. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wait a minute, there were accessories. Can I have my glasses? Oh! Almost. Uh, a little bit closer. So mortar and glass. Or even, uh... That may have been closer to my old one. It takes the same thing, so we can just decide later. <laughs> Fantasy is on the way, chat. <laughs> Fantasy means high fashion. Oh, even those ones. Okay. I like these choices. Camper bath. Oh, with like a nice glass of wine. Very good. Yeah, I want that flower crown eventually. I don't know how to get more of those flowers here, but I think they might be like seasonal sort of things. Oh, oh. Okay, um, so those can go away, uh, we have a jewelry ring now, I'm gonna save that for someone's birthday where we don't have any other items we can give them. I think that's probably the best use of our materials here, and we got our first diamond, I'm gonna straight up sell that, oh wait, do I donate it? doesn't mention being donated, so I'm just gonna sell it. Be self. Now I remember why I like diamonds in this game. <laughs> they sell for 12k, no big deal. Oh. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright. We are set, chat. Anna, hello, how are you? Yeah, this game is really cute. Okay, let's give Tater a treat as well before I forget here. Said I would. There you go. Good puppy. Um, I'm just trying to think about what I want to do here. We have a lot of materials, which is fantastic. I kind of want to go hunting for more diamonds, not gonna lie. But I should probably be good and, and do other stuff. Oh, I'm just doing all of those? Okay, I'll wait on that one. We're getting some projects got stream on in the background. I hope that we can give you some nice background noise. Um, I'm doing pretty good today. She just said I go into my room with headphones and try to decompress, watch some stuff involved in my recent interest. Been big into farming sims. The Babysitter's Club recently. 
I feel like, you know, my, my thing is definitely video game. Like, certain video games make me feel better, so I feel like that's a very valid answer. <laughs> You love Genji? Oh, I'm glad you got him then. Okay. Um, we haven't finished talking to everyone, but that is a lot more Hi. set up here. Hi. Okay, let's see. We haven't spoken to these guys yet. Hello. Hi. Do you like animals? I do. Watch the animals out in the field sometime. I think they'll like you. Uh, or I don't see anyone else in here. Start a new Stardew farm. Yes, I feel like Stardew is such a fantastic distraction. Oh. Oh, what's the matter? Your stomach hurts? Here, let me take a look at it. Oh. Oh, thank goodness you're here. My cow's a little under the weather, so I'd like to take a look at her. But she's being rather ornery right now. Do you mind holding her down for a moment? Yeah, let me give cow, cow pet. Thank you. This will only take a second, Catherine. So please calm down. Catherine's named my cow here. She's a good friend of mine. My cow is named Sunday. <laughs> mm, everything looks all right. What could be the matter? You don't have uh, enteritis. I don't know if I said that right. The cow whisper. <laughs> and you don't have a cold. I don't think you're pregnant either. Uh, why are you blush? Cows blush? Wait a second, are you actually pregnant? Catherine, I'm so happy for you. You're going to be a mother. You said your name is Crystal, right? I wouldn't be able to examine Catherine without you. I hope you'll let me return the favor someday. As to how skilled you are at handling cows. Thought I was pretty good at it, but it seems I've got quite a lot to learn. Well, I should be heading back to the store. Thank you so much for your help. See you later. That was very triumphant music. <laughs> After you're playing Animal Crossing, just hang out in the museum. Yeah, it's very relaxing. Oh my god, cutscenes. <laughs> I guess this is what happens when you start befriending everyone. Out of here to do some shopping? Actually, are you hungry by any chance? I made some stew for last night's dinner, but wouldn't you know what? I made far too much of the stuff. I can vouch for the flavor. It's good stuff, I promise. How about it? Would you like some? Don't mind if I do. You're a doll, Emilio. Trust me, you're doing me a big favor. Can't imagine a cow blushing. <laughs> Usually what with Bessie? My go-to is Betty. Always. My folks can't handle rich foods like they used to, so they aren't eating as much these days. Little Cindy's hardly the type to wolf her food down. Never has been. Jack's the only one I can count on to eat any decent amount of food, but he likes to eat out sometimes. The problem is, he never warns me beforehand. Toilet away over a hot stove, and what do I get? Come supper time? Sorry, Mom, I already ate. Can you believe it? Because sworn I raised him to be more considerate than that. For me, it's really special to watch someone enjoy your cooking. But cooking together with someone is even more special. I tried to teach Jack how to cook, but that boy couldn't tell salt from pepper. I'm hoping I'll have more luck with Cindy's lessons. How about you, Emilio? You ever thought about taking cooking lessons? You're welcome to drop my by my place this, uh, in the evenings. I'd be more than happy to teach you what I know. Nice! In that case, maybe you can give me a trial lesson, and if I end up getting the hang of it, we'll keep on going. Would that be cool with you? Yes, that sounds wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, thanks again for taking some of that stew off my hands. Oh, well, hello there, Crystal. Would you be interested in a bowl of stew? There's plenty to go around. Getting a lot of cutscenes with Emilio and Jack, but I don't feel like I've befriended them too much. I guess Jack, that makes sense. Huh. Alrighty. Hi. Ah. Emilio apparently not worried at all after the pickle incident. You'd think he'd be a bit more cautious. More pocket soup. <laughs> oh, we didn't actually get anything from that. That's a bit sad. I feel like a Disney Pokemon princess ran around Swablu. <gasps> yes, they all like to uh, kind of circle around. I thought that was cute too. Okay. Praise be to the cutscene lords. I'm just trying to talk to people. <laughs> what? 
Is it that much of a marvel to see a man fishing? You're welcome to observe if you wish, provided that you do not alarm the fish. Many have stopped to curiously behold my fishing habits, yet you are the first to walk up beside me. Do you have an interest in fishing as well? Um, I'm something of a scientist. I'm an angler myself. Indeed, I thought as much. I took this up as a hobby of sorts upon my arrival here. I was insufferably preoccupied at home, but here I can truly be at ease. So I thought. So you've come for me once more. Cease your hiding and reveal yourself. Oh. <laughs> ah, a cat. He's undoubtedly after my fish. He prowled about yesterday as well, though he remained hidden. He's docile at present, but there is no telling when he might bear his fangs and strike. That's very much Ollie. <laughs> Should be on guard as well. I think we found Ollie. <laughs> The title for today should be Cutscenes Galore. It really should be. <laughs> oh my god. Chat! Not you! Crystal, just the farmer I was hoping to see. I could use a sympathetic ear. Care to help your old... Sorry. <laughs> Care to help out your old pal? Uh, I'm listening. Thanks a million. See, I accidentally dropped my wallet in the ocean, and uh, the ocean's pretty big, so I'm gonna need some help. You in? Oh, how'd I drop it? I was eating a banana, and I may or may not have mistaken my wallet for the banana peel when I threw it out, so yeah. You go on start looking. I need to warm up first. I don't like this guy <laughs> at all. the epic music for his trouble with a cat stealing his fish. Yeah, over there in that area. Or maybe it was somewhere deeper? I can't quite remember. Ah. Oh no, she's drowning. <laughs> Hold on, I'll go get help. As he's granny shuffles away. Legit just drowning. Right over there where you can see bubbles rising. That's Crystal. <laughs> gotcha. Wait right here. I'll go get her. You okay? <laughs> Thank goodness, looks like you're breathing fine. Yeah, if I hadn't brought you back to shore when I did, you would have been in serious trouble. But what were you doing in the ocean with your clothes on? It's hard to move around when your clothes get wet and the rip currents around here are brutal. Well, I guess I'll save the lecture for later. Oh yeah, I'll chew her out later. Thanks, Laura. By the way, I found a wallet close by to where you were drowning. It must have fallen from your pocket. Ah, uh, funny story about that. That's actually mine. Wait, what? So you're telling me Crystal was searching the tides for your wallet? Um, yeah, I guess so. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Next time you call me first before you make some innocent bystander waltz into another rip current. Clear on that? Yes, ma'am. Crystal clear. Yeah, that, that's my name. <laughs> Dear Lord. Hey, Super Saiyan. Everyone's having a good day. Just got back from signing divorce papers. Oh, I'm feeling very blah. I hope we can take your mind off things a little bit. I know that must be... I wouldn't say jarring, but, you know... Off-putting, maybe. It's very difficult starting a whole new life for yourself, but so long as you take things one step at a time, I'm sh you're sure to succeed. Oh, I haven't spoken to you yet. I haven't seen Lavette yet. Almost. I've seen Emilio like 50 times today in cutscenes, but apparently we haven't spoken to him officially. <laughs> Rest of the morning off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad that you're taking some time for yourself then. Welcome, welcome, sit anywhere you like. Cutscenes. <laughs> what can I get uh, you started for? Well, if it isn't Dame and the usual coffee for you. Yeah, black. You got it, hun. Coming right up. Hey Sally, do you mind if I change the radio station? Not at all, just be sure to pick something good. Sally, how's this one sound? Hmm. How about you? What do you think? Not bad, right? I don't know if he wants me to be over eager or not. Eh, not bad. 
Wait, did Zella not take your order yet? She did, huh? Good. Sorry for the wait. Oh, now this is a nice upbeat song. It's your coffee. It's my special blend. And here's your cup came in. I've got a special blend for you today as well. I mean, it all tastes the same to me. It does, hmm? I think you'll just have to work your taste buds a little harder. I use different beans every day. I'd say the barista is the issue. Oh, Damon. Of course, of course, I'll try to meet your lofty standards next time. No, no, don't take that, Sally. You kick him out. Listen, I'll, I'll swing. Don't, don't be rude to your... Don't, just don't be rude. <laughs> be nice. <laughs> it takes like two seconds. You just... Hmm. Uh, everyone's sick or sad today besides me who's just groggy. Oh, did he stay up too late? Starbucks Frappuccino is really helping your sore throat. I'm glad to hear it. If I don't watch out, all town's gonna leave me behind with all the development that's going through. Where is he? Okay, good, he's left. Dear Lord, people who aren't nice to, uh, people who are serving them just grind my gears up. <laughs> oh, there you are. Generally good with animals, but as much as I like cats, we never get along. They're way too moody to handle. What's with the look? Okay. All right. Friendly reminder, by the way, while I'm thinking about it. Um, you guys are deciding who I am marrying in this game, and currently the leads are Rena and Damon. Uh, Rena is very much in the lead, um, but Damon is in second. So if you guys have any preference whatsoever, <laughs> Mike is saying, Damon, uh, get your <laughs> get your votes in. Um, <laughs> and uh i'm gonna be closing that poll probably this afternoon because i would like to start just you know wooing <laughs> damon you are a cat quite evil roll every time and lost every time it was tiring i hope you had fun though Alrighty, i've seen you a couple times today in cutscenes i think that's almost everyone Steven, best boy. Mm. Sorry, I hit my keyboard on the way down uh, with my cup. Oh, um, oh, they're gonna close in like eight minutes anyway. I'll, I'll get that tomorrow. Let's work on tidying a bit. Um, I guess I'll put away these. I kind of want to start doing some cooking in this game, but I'm also a bit concerned that we're gonna, especially if we're doing the uh, Levet quests, we're gonna run out of space <laughs> for all the rewards. When I'm in a bad role, everyone Sherlock Holmes. When I'm innocent, no one knows anything. <laughs> My favorite was, um... I, I can't really play those games very much. I, I tend to get far too much anxiety. Just either way. Um, but when myself and some of the mods were playing them, like Among Us, um... <laughs> Random was always voted out. Just, like, right away. Because none of- like, we all trust him, obviously, to a certain extent. Um, but not, uh, not in that- oh. oh, it's like a gray chicken. I want it. I want it. <laughs> we don't trust him that much in that game. <laughs> he always came off sus even when he wasn't. I'm sorry, random. Oh, have fun, affection! Enjoy! We'll see you later! Get unnecessarily nervous, yeah. Yeah, I'm also just really big on- I- I don't like lying, I don't like being accused of lying. You really enjoy it. 
No, no, Among Us, hun. <laughs> Out of context, I realized that would have sounded weird. Justice for random. <laughs> I don't know, he was always the one throwing us under the bus in a murder mystery party, so... I don't know, I'm just saying. What do we need for this again? It was like a lot, wasn't it? I think I was tempted just to spend the money on it. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, none of these are like close enough. Get multiple hits on. Oh, I think that's. Oh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> There's a lot more down here than I thought there was. If I do lie, I'm really bad at it. Yep. That sounds familiar. It's a day break for most of 2022 because I was getting too easily upset. Oh, when you were voted out wrongly. Yeah. Just too far away. I'll grab these ones. Oh, okay. Apparently, Mike's sitting here going like, "I uh hate," -huh, like <laughs> making funny noises. Apparently, he's cheesing things in his game, and I guess he's just really happy. Oh, kind of like Eventide in uh, Breath of the Wild. Maybe I should extend this fence today. Uh, oh, it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> I just noticed the time. Uh, I'll, I'll make the fence extensions. So why not, right? Mods well, had extra roles and abilities to keep it fresh and people would always transform into me to kill people and frame me and I was always alone in the moment. So you couldn't clear your name, oh God. That just- that's very frustrating. Alright, no worries, Faye. No worries. I hope that the rest of your work day goes well. Alrighty. Good job, Tater. We had a good day, I'd say. Uh, we're gonna make a lot of money, actually, because we sold our first- our first diamond here. Uh, and we do have another one processing, which is really, really good. So I could just pay to unlock that third area, and I have to admit I'm a little tempted. But I should probably be good and use resources. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Pop Doc King, hello. How are you? Oh, we got an achievement for that too. Nice. The poll is ending later on, um, probably just before I go on break, I think. Just before I go on break, I'm going to close that down, announce it, and then we will uh, see who we're befriending. Uh-oh. <laughs> Why, hello there. I've been waiting for you, Crystal. I heard the farmers are early to rise, so I've been camped out here since, oh, two o'clock in the morning, perhaps. You're well aware that I am a bon vivant, yes? Um, who isn't? <laughs> Guess I love Adam, a famous gourmet columnist who has been published in magazines across the country. If you've heard my slogan, Lovette loves it. Uh, aside, or that aside, I have a request to make of you. I'd like you to introduce me to the most amazing food you've ever had the pleasure of tasting. We do, we do love achievements. I was getting achievements actually left, right, and center yesterday too. I took a look at the list for this game and it seems like on the whole, it's actually very straightforward to get all of them. Uh, something that screams, I'm a culinary miracle hidden in a remote port town. 
Alas, nothing from the bistro uh, nor the cafe quite live up to what I have in mind. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. Thank you. That's when it hit me. If I could not find the perfect dish, surely I could find the most outstanding ingredient instead. When it comes to good ingredients, why settle for a farm to table when you can go directly to the farm instead? Oh, and thank you as well. I really appreciate that, you guys. Thank you. Welcome on in. What I'm looking for is curry flavored cheese or something of that extraordinary nature. And thus today I've descended upon your farm, a place that has been cultivating curry flavored cheese for 30 years. I can smell it now, the spicy aroma of curry mixing with the mellow fragrance of rich cheese. Mm, delicious. Or so I imagine. You're absolutely wrong. <laughs> My word, you never struck me as the pessimistic sort. How unfortunate. What flavor would you suggest then? Chocolate? Coffee? Caramel? It's not the flavor you take issue with. You don't appreciate me fabricating stories about your farm? Fabricating is going a little too far, don't you think? It's not as if I can change the rules of the universe. Curry and cows have always existed. Ergo, probability dictates that curry cheese must exist. Fine, fine, I see how it is. Not everyone can have the refined taste. <laughs> uh, regrettably, there's no cure for such a dreadful uh, malady. Here I thought we could work together to further the culinary scene, but it seems I was terribly mistaken. Well then, I must bid you adieu. I think him and fantasy would get on. Oh. Hmm? What's up, Cindy? I thought I heard someone singing. Singing? Oh, what's that? Who's there? They're right in front of you. The singing stopped. It's just your imagination. Stop trying to scare me like that. Crystal, were you the one singing just now? Is someone over there? Ah, oh, ghost. Oh, Mikey out. <laughs> this is just a prank, right? I don't believe in ghosts, but don't leave me, Mikey. <laughs> Who are you? Your name is Crystal? Um, I think I've been sleeping for a really, really long time. But what am I supposed to do now that I'm awake? I ask myself that a lot. <laughs> oh, thank you, Natalie. Okay! That was weird. I'll take it. Uh, tater, let's get your leash. Oops. I, uh, I actually completely forgot about this. Oh, wait, it's raining. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Uh, I completely forgot about this, like, chain of events in this game, not gonna lie. Uh, whose birthday is next? It's Jack's. Jack likes the, um, the giant bear carving, so I could probably make him one of those. Also, hydrate, thank you. He'd been waiting for a long time for me once I had the alarm clock. I was only up around 11 a.m. <laughs> Nope, that one's not done yet. Okay. Okay, so for the giant bear carving, I saw it yesterday. We need 30 of the solid logs, which is easy enough. We have a lot of those right now. There we go. Uh, and oh, no. <laughs> Trying to keep things moderately organized. Special bird bracelets that sell at his store. At least I know for sure Damon and Ralph really like it. Okay, that's good to know. I remember you mentioning it uh, yesterday. But at least for now, um, 
we got him the bear statue, so we'll give him that tomorrow. Or whenever his birthday was, I don't think it's actually tomorrow. Um, we don't need to water, but I can harvest. Oh, there's a cucumber is done. Okay, I need to go find something that's gonna grow really quickly for the rest of the month. Or I guess I could just set up our next month's uh, crop area, because I was kind of thinking of doing something in here, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. My birthday's on the calendar. Only having days. Yeah, no, I'm hoping there's birthdays. But then again, actually, Mariska, now that I mention- or now that you mention it, um, when it comes to birthdays in that game, there's only 10 days a season. How many villagers are there? Because if there's more than 40 people- I don't think there's more than 40, but if there are, uh, we're gonna have to have some people who have uh, the same birthday. Should have put these in. I don't know why I didn't. Don't mind me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's rude. I'll just take all these out again. Um, because I did want to put down some more paths today, I think. Uh, oh, there we go, new title. Yeah, and the seasons won't be 30 days, so... I guess we'll see. I'm hoping, though. It really never dawned on me. I, I played that game so much, I don't know the characters' birthdays. I definitely know a lot of other ones, but not for them. Yep! Found that out yesterday, Claire. It was really funny because I like vaguely remember clicking on it in my first playthrough, and then I, I figured out why I remembered it. <laughs> Continue to get rid of these, I guess. Only 23 people in the group. Okay, so that's not too bad then. But yeah, fun facts indeed. <laughs> Wait, is it normal logs for more fencing? Because if it's normal... It is normal, um... It's a little unfortunate. Let's see here. I don't think 13 is gonna be enough for what I want to do. Be more than 50-50 chance, but that's not how the math checks out, yeah. Oh no, wait, 13 should be just fine. Because I'm just expanding it and then moving that thing down a bit. Um, let's see. Oh, no. Okay, so this is... That's actually as far down as I can put it. If I still want to have, like, a too wide path going along. So it's, it's a little bit bigger. I feel like that's a very decent amount of space. I think I vaguely remember in my original playthrough, what I did is I tried to plant a lot of grass, because like, you know, say for example, Harvest Moon A Wonderful Life, you have a big field full of, of grass that you cut for fodder, and then your animals can graze in it. Um, in this game, <laughs> they don't want to touch the fodder or the grass 
that you've planted. So like they were kind of bunched up all up here, <laughs> which was awkward. Yeah, because right, right here, it doesn't want to put anything down. Alrighty, that'll do. Let's go see what do we need for the uh, notice board for today. And maybe get more cutscenes. <laughs> or maybe not, maybe we'll be safe. We can get that really easy. We have plenty of those. Uh, and oh, we got a new shipping bin. Or not shipping bin, sorry, storage bin. We'd love to see it. Rebecca, I heard, um, I won't spoil anything, of course, I'm not planning on watching it myself, but I had heard uh, some people already talking about it, and it seems like the general consensus is that it's it's pretty solid. People seem to be enjoying it, so that's good. It's oh, really awkward. Um, I might have to bring some of those down at some point. For now, that'll go there. Usually working right now, so it's been nice to hang out this morning. I have to leave for work now, though. Oh, no worries. Have a great rest of your work day. Or actually, have a great work day, I should say. And uh, hopefully we'll see you later. So here's your lump of coal, because apparently Beth has been bad this year. <laughs> Watched the series premiere last night. It was pretty good. I'm glad. I know sometimes, you know, obviously there's a bit of nervousness when it comes to bringing a famous book or game or what have you into a new medium. New media. Either way. <laughs> um. Okay, six days... Oh wait, maybe I should check how many days this game has. Is it 28 or 31? 28 days, okay. So I could do potatoes, I could do turnips. I haven't done onions yet, I don't think. Oh, I'm like one day short for that. Uh, five days after planting. You know what, let's do this one because I haven't done these. Um, Oh god, wait, are these single seed? These are single seeds, aren't they? So there's one, two, maybe I'll just do two rows. I've been playing uh, Harvest Moon DSQ off stream just for me uh, in the evenings, and in that game, one bag of seeds is nine spaces. So <laughs> I have to like try to remember. Could have easily started as a TV show. Yeah, it, it translated very well. I agree. Um, and there are a lot of like games that came out. I feel like around that time that could have just been movies or shows. But just with how cinematic they were, the stories they were telling. It's probably why they were so well received as well. Okay, um, so let me get some stone out. We're gonna start kind of arranging our our paths here, like I said we would. 
Sure, can get pretty intense, but I think that's just... Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the game... <laughs> the games were also pretty... pretty intense. like 90 stone, but it's okay. That's actually as much as we can do, because I only have 30 of these. I'm sorry if it sounds like knocking to anyone. I, uh... God, what was it? I feel like there was a game I was playing a while ago where it sounded like knocking and my mom kept getting to check the door. Or, like, getting up to check the door. Because she was expecting an Amazon package. <laughs> she thought it was the guy coming to deliver it. about putting down some sprinklers for the new season. Um, what do we need? I probably don't even need to, to be honest. I might just keep... Mike is around. Yeah, he's here. Um, I might just keep going with watering myself, but... Let's see. Want me to hold Tater? There you go. Um, so I'm thinking... Let's see, it's five of those and three of those. Maybe I'll do it in fall. Maybe I'll do it in fall. I'll set up the, like, area I want for it right now. I was thinking, let's see, two, three, because each space is going to be nine or eight, depending on if we have sprinklers or not. And then another three, speaking of watering yourself, <laughs> I'll drink to that. Tater's like, please, <laughs> don't rest your drink on me. One, two, three. Um, okay. Jeez, I'm getting achievements for this. Uh, and then maybe another row here. Two, three. I'm just trying to lay it out so that I can see. One, two, three. Oh, I could even keep going. This isn't bad. I might try to pre-till this. Um, it probably won't stay fully tilled, but I, I think it does stay for quite a while after, so. Oh, Mendelin, not at all. Don't you worry about it. I know these streams are kind of just chill, nice to have on in the background. I do not... I am not offended. <laughs> I am not concerned. I hope that your research and everything is going well. Love Tater, he's so cute. I'm glad you like him. I'm just lurking. No excuse. No. No excuses needed. Okay, so I will fill these in because they are not going to be sprinklered. Sprinklered? Sprinklered. We'll just go with that. Um, so that's two. It's gonna be four, six. Okay, so we're gonna have eight squares of nine. Which isn't bad, that's pretty good. Also, Ace, have you been enjoying a Lego Jurassic World? I'd love me a Lego game. Nice listen while you shovel. Oh God, wait, are we talking like shoveling snow or uh? 
But what are we shoveling? <laughs> Still looking for the yellow birdie? I hope you find it. Hopefully soon. Oh, Ollie. Saying mean things to poor Fred. There we go. So this was the idea. Um, oh. Chat. Oh, I was planning on putting a wooden path all the way around. But this, I can't do this square. <laughs> or this square. Snow. Oh, you're in the East Coast? Yeah, I'm sorry. I hope it's not too much snow. <sighs> Gosh darn it. Vincent, enjoy your breakfast. Um. So wild. All the audio is ripped straight from the movies. My friend and I had some wild times getting it set up so we could even play together. It was so fun. You're doing that online too, right? I know that's like Lego is kind of weird to get running that way. Uh, I might do six instead of eight then purely for the paddling and for the aesthetics because it, it does it does bother me if things aren't right. <laughs> Driveway surprised my family when they got home, but in the mid-afternoon got all sunny, all the driveways around were clear without needing to shovel. <laughs> Mandolin, I'm sorry for laughing, but that sucks so bad. Oh. I have to do the Steam Couch Co-op. Yeah. Yeah. Um. You know what? Yeah, screw this. Screw this section. Right? Um. I'm just going to, uh, get rid of this. Look at that. Look at how easy that is. I just realized I have to upgrade Ho as well. I could've... <laughs> I could've done that a lot faster than I really did, but oh well. Um... And we're just gonna go around like this. Oh, but you know what now really bugs me? This. Okay, chat. Shh. Don't panic. Don't worry about it. Nothing's happening. It's fine. Three wide paths are um, out of style anyway. Things I do for aesthetically pleasing farms. No worries, Claire. Would you look at that? It's like nothing even happened. <laughs> nope. Enjoy your dinner, Pepper. Ooh, our next diamond is done. I feel like I should probably be keeping those, but the money, am I right? So I have four spaces. There we go. And then if I wanted to, I could have a path coming down here. Hmm. This is all working out. This is this is good. Is it the biggest field? No. But is it a good starting field? I hope so. Will I probably have to retill that on the first? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, but that's okay. Hey, Nova. Um, all right, let me grab these.
I'm gonna keep some diamonds. I'm doing all right, Nova. How are you? How is your Monday treating you so far? Assuming I'm gonna need my watering can. Um, yeah. So when was Jack's birthday? Is it 23rd? 23rd. Okay, so not tomorrow, the day after. An auto accident, is everything okay? Everything good? Jeez, that's scary. I've only ever been in one, like, car crash and it was one too many for me. I'm, I'm good for the rest of forever. <laughs> morning, Crystal. I'm sure you've gotten used to these early morning chats. As usual, I've got news on our development project. Thanks to your efforts, all of town is steadily transforming into a livelier, friendlier place. That said, it's important we keep up keep up with current trends to match our town's image. No citizen should be left behind to obsolescence. But simply, it's high time we expanded the local beauty salon. Karina has provided us with fancy hairdos and cutting-edge fashion, but we must aim higher, as we must become more chic than ever before. The bulletin board has all the information you'll need for this request. I'm sure you know where it is by now. We're counting on you. <laughs> Random, that's a great answer. Just had some severe anxiety, but you're fine. Half a mile from my doctor's office that you were going to. Well, definitely take it easy. Uh, I'm glad, you know, on the whole, everything's fine, but I definitely get the anxiety part. Oh, no, come here, Tater. <laughs> Tater's like, I don't want to go for the walk today, Mom. That looks so good! <laughs> Alright, let's make sure that these get watered. No, Claire, no. I, uh... I don't know where I was or what, like, when that came out, but, uh... Never caught my interest. Never caught my interest. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Um, I also have to remember to buy more mushroom spores and go pick up our new clothes. I could have done that like two days ago and I kept forgetting. Almost broke down. Yeah, it's intimidating calling too. Alright, so I guess we can't put in any more of these, but I can put in more of those and these. Uh, some of these wouldn't hurt as well. Brand of big hugs have been falling out of fashion. I hug my aunt. So yeah, I'm very much not a hug person unless I know you very well. <laughs> but that's just me. Messed up pretty bad, but most of the guy who hit us got with some scuffs and a broken passenger mirror, which is odd because our car is bigger and newer. This is small. Oh, and from 1994, wow. <laughs> Random. <laughs> Just mainly in it for the monies. Yeah, probably, probably not. Gosh, look at all these puddles. Alright, bear with. I'm gonna clear out this one little mini pond here. 
Uh, fair warning for the noise. As per usual. Just before we let the animals out. You know what it was, I think? I don't know if iCarly was ever airing on the TV, like, the channels I was watching. It may have been a YTV thing here. Maybe. iCarly? Do you know that one, or was that beyond your time, hun? Oh, it was Disney! Yeah, no, I... I didn't know that. Um, I didn't watch a lot of Disney Channel until I was a little older didn't have it when we were younger and um i usually watch the animated things i wasn't so interested in live action yeah i figured it was it was a bit after your time <laughs> but you knew what it was oh no they're saying it's nickelodeon i didn't watch like the only nickelodeon i really watched was rugrats i watched recess on disney channel was it Nicola? Are you sure? Was it, was it also in Disney, maybe? Yeah, we did have a free Disney. I think that that happened after a while, though. I think initially it was subscription. But yeah, no, I uh, I think for the most part, the only Rugrats or Nickelodeon I really watched was Rugrats. I watched Hey Arnold, like, way when I was older. Yeah, I went back to watch it because I heard it was really good. And it actually was. I really enjoyed it. I liked his room. He had a cool room. Only minorly jealous. <laughs> oh, I can put away these. I'll start shoving those in there. Heck yeah. Um... Really enjoyed Spongebob. I, uh, I think I only ever watched Spongebob if I was over at a friend's place and they had it on, you know? I watched a lot of, um, here it's, it's Teletoon, um, which had, uh, Brace Face, it had 16, it had, um, god, there was a lot of stuff on Teletoon. I'm thinking of stuff when I was a bit older, but... Fillmore's, there was, um, I think What's With Andy was, may have been Canadian. Could be wrong. Mortar, silver, or flexible cloth? Okay. I want to make some mortar anyway, so I might just start there. You remember What's With Andy? That was a strange show. <laughs> Oh, really, Mariska? That's unfortunate to hear about. Darn people. Okay, so someone wanted oregano, and the other thing was mortar, right? Which is just clay. So I think I need 50 plus 30, so 80. How much would that cost me? Okay, quite a bit, but I want it for the glasses as well as for... Uh, the thing we're about to be handing in. Just start eating some goldfish. So was in a different room entirely. She came running in here demanding snacks. Oh, does she tend to get people food? She tend to get the good stuff. Oh yeah, um, we were filling up one of our spice containers. It was time. Um, using like a, a like a ziploc pack uh, and ollie came running over because it sounded like something he might be interested in um and then he got very offended by the scent of it it was very funny <laughs> he kept coming closer to sniff it and then like going all like he'd start squinting at it i was gonna ask dog or child but then pe <laughs> crystal said people food <laughs> so i think i know <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that if I ever have a kid. Just, do you want some people food? <laughs> That's cute. There we go. 
Oh, does he still Mariska? That's horrible. She also loves crackers, so she gets a couple goldfish. But she's being very demanding. Alright, let's go get our new outfit. Yay, awesome. Okay. Uh, and then for the glasses, did I also need- I think I needed a glass as well. Do I have any of that? Maybe- oh, wait. I don't know if I've made glass yet. I haven't made glass yet. <laughs> I was thinking of, um, uh, Sandrock. We were making glass in Sandrock. <laughs> Whoopsies. I organize the spice rack so much that I always lose track of time. Mike made a similar joke. Here, Lord. New clothes. Right. I have to go back in a second. Okay. <laughs> Let's just see if I can make the... I only need five. Make the glass we need for this. we go. Alrighty. And I will change while we're there. <laughs> and then we can see which uh, which pair of glasses we like with which outfit. Oh, look at how cute we are. <laughs> we got little overalls. Okay. We are not changed yet. Bear with me. <laughs> I, I, I changed my mind really quickly. There we go. Now we're heckin' adorable. Okay. Um, so now I want my glasses. So are we thinking... Oh, I don't really want those ones. Um, are we thinking a more rectangular one like this, you guys, with a thinner frame? Right? Or do we like a slightly bigger glasses that are still rectangular? <laughs> Thinner and smaller or larger and thicker. Multiple seeds. Where's the sunglasses? You like the thicker one? Thinner? Uh oh. <laughs> I like the larger, thicker. <laughs> or indecisive. <laughs> uh, the thicker one. I'm gonna go with this one. Alright, so this won't be done today, obviously, but... Oh, Cinder gets teacher vibes, you think? Well, I am a farmer. Um, not a teacher. So we're gonna go with that. Look at my outfit, Damon, do you like? Yeah. Well, you need something from me? I don't really have anything interesting to talk about, so don't get your hopes up. Wow, okay. <laughs> How about you? Love the clear blue sky. Everyone's ignoring me. Alrighty. Uh, I need spores. I need mushroom spores before I forget. Hi. Yes. Hello. <laughs> oh, and then you get me a cutscene. Okay. Hey, welcome. Are you looking for anything in particular? I mean, you're a farmer and all, so it's pretty easy to tell what sort of things you'll need. It's okay if I guess what you came for. I uh, came here for. Nice. Okay. Um, how about a hint first? Something we'd never have, huh? That's something that no one would... Uh, what's something that no one would buy even if we sold it? Cover for a well? Yeah, true, no one would ever buy that. In fact, the thought never crossed my mind until you mentioned it. What else? A stump? What do you even need a stump for? Decorating? Nothing! Oh, duh, that's why it'd never sell! You know something, Crystal? You really had me stumped there for a minute. We're watching the store, Jack. I can take it from here. Oh, come on, Mom. We're just getting to the good part. I was talking to her about our product lineup. Oh, really? It didn't sound like that to me. It's only because you're not used to the way I do things. Anyway, I'll see you later. People respond to new outfits you're wearing, especially when it's a perfect, a perfect fit. That's cute. That boy, I swear. Sorry about him. I hope he didn't waste too much of your time. Let me start this over. Welcome and thank you for coming today. What do you need? Who doesn't love a useless son? <laughs> oh god. Shots fired. Uh, My grandparents always want to eat old-fashioned cooking, but I'm more of a modern cuisine kind of guy. 
never really thought of most food as modern or old-fashioned. Huh. Okay. Um... There we go, so there's some new mushroom spores. Oh, <laughs> cutscene! <laughs> oh, cows! There's a lot of mooing. Hi, Vincent, welcome back. Uh, need a hand? These are our cows, so you don't have to worry too much. They manage to escape every so often. Do me a favor and don't move. These uh, things can still get dangerous if they get spooked. Come on, we're headed home. You know Bridget's going to be worried about you. This cow is like my bid for freedom. Ruined. Easy now, buddy. You okay? You sure you're not hurt or anything? Okay, good. Um, you like animals, don't you? I think whatever you want, I guess. Well, see, you. gosh darn it, you have a... a never mind, I'm not even gonna say. <laughs> not gonna say where I think that stick is. Um, I wonder, I, I've seen some people mention they really like him and I want to see more about his story. Because so far he just seems to be angry for the sake of being angry. I still haven't taken this into the museum. <sighs> Catherine's pregnant still breaking out of the barn. That's bad. <laughs> what a badass. <laughs> Very abrasive, yeah. Oh, <gasps> you found the shiny ace. Congratulations. It's a good shiny. Gladian minus the hand cramps, yeah. Magnificent timing, Crystal. Could I trouble you for some advice? Ask away. It's nothing complicated, I assure you. I've been considering remodeling this museum, but I'm not quite sure how to go about it. Should I hire an up-and-coming architect who's making waves in the art world? Or should I try to faithfully recreate a traditional mode of architecture? Then again, I could also open up to public and have the townspeople create their own design. I'd like to hear your opinion on the matter. Um... I don't- I, I personally I would say go traditional. Uh, long story short, we have a... We have the, the Royal Ontario Museum here, or the ROM, everyone calls it. Um, it's a really nice museum. Been there a lot as a kid. And they have some beautiful, like, older buildings. Your dog follows you? Yes, if you're using your leash, at least. Um, and a couple, like, I say a couple, it's probably like 20 years ago, they added a, an add-on onto it that's like this really obnoxiously modern glass, stainless like, steel um, part of it, and it, it, like, sticks off at an awkward angle. And it really doesn't look all that great, in my opinion. <laughs> it, like, sticks out like a sore thumb. Is this game worth it? It's a lot of fun. If you enjoy farming sims, you're probably going to get a kick out of this one. A lot of things to do, a lot of cool townspeople. Uh, the mining and farming systems are really fun. There's a lot of leveling uh, and, like, things you can put your time into, so it's very rewarding. Yeah, I'd say, honestly, if you enjoy Story of Seasons. But I did, I don't think there's much in other outbreaks that you care about. Don't think I'll ever love a bachelor more than Grey from Harvest Moon. Friends of Mineral Town, Grey's pretty cool. Um, I always go for Cliff in that game. But Celia, I think, is always going to be my hands-down favorite. Oh, Babbitt, I hope so, because that's such an annoying feeling. Certainly an option, yes, but tried and true as it may be, a more traditional approach may not garner much interest. Feels though it might be better to accentuate our town's unique characteristics in some way, don't you? <sighs> you just want me to answer one way, don't you? I suppose that really is my best option. As a matter of fact, I was thinking along those exact same lines, so I've already begun private discussions. Now, people have given me three suggestions so far. Would you tell me which you prefer? First suggestion is to take inspiration from traditional eastern castles. That was Dosetsu's idea. Second suggestion came from Cindy and Mikey. They'd like it to look like a superhero's secret base. Finally, we come to Levette's suggestion to create a culinary hall of fame featuring creations from all around the world. I like the first one. 
apologize for the pause. I had a sudden moment of retrospective clarity. After giving it some thought, I think I'll settle for merely repairing the museum to its former glory. This lady really didn't actually want my help. She's like, my. <laughs> ask for my help, ask, give me choices, and then choose the option that I didn't say. <laughs> Still, I did not expect you to be so excited about an eastern castle. You certainly have peculiar tastes. Oh, Mariska, maybe. That's very possible. I have no idea about the choices, so... Nice, okay. Those are both really nice to have. I'm just gonna go put this over here. I seem to remember there being like better and better mushrooms you could get over time. Uh, and some of them really gave you a lot of, um, a lot of mud muns if you stuck through with it. Played it in a hot minute, which just makes me want to play it, but my switch is on the charger. Oh, so you can just play it later. I hope that you enjoy when you do go back to it. I feel like, um, the time away that I, I spent from this game has made me enjoy it even more now that I'm back. Uh, and also maybe going into it kind of knowing what to expect. <laughs> it's a cute game. Oh, there we go. We gotta level up. I think they're all pretty much leveling up at the same pace here, which is nice. Character had to run somewhere and just yelled. My thighs are thundering. <laughs> Same. Uh, alrighty, let's see here. Green is leading. I can still look at his first few events and see what the right thing to say was. Yeah, you can let me know. Um, I think unless I'm like, you know, really trying to befriend someone quickly, I'm going to avoid looking. Uh, just that I can, you know, get to know them on my own terms. But trust me, it's very tempting. Um, I think I might go upgrade something today here too. I might go get a, maybe a fishing rod upgrade, I'm feeling. Try to get everything up to the uh, iron level at least. I think I did Babbit. I'll go back and check though. That's a good idea. Hey. Oh, the sickle as well. Um, no. You know what? I'm gonna we're gonna go for the fishing rod. Technically, I could. Just get the sickle as well. Whoops, my hand slipped. <laughs> Here we go, I'm gonna put Tater down for a bit. Had him for a while. He would have said the same thing. He's apparently just kind of abrasive. Yeah, I figure he's probably um, just a bit rough around the edges at first and then he warms up to you. Kind of the vibe I'm getting from him so far. Uh, crops are indeed watered. Crops are watered. Um, but... Are these gonna be ready like tomorrow maybe? I don't really know trees all that well in this game, so... Wait a minute. Oh, 
Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was like, I had way more iron than that just now. There we go. Let's go mining. Let's do a little mining for the rest of the day, Tater. Um, I think that'll be the best way to spend our day here. Six hearts with Shane starting once again. Having trouble triggering cutscenes, that's always the worst. I hate that. I'm still a little bit upset with our wonderful life playthrough we've been kind of, sorry, uh, passively doing. Um, I didn't trigger like any of Celia's cutscenes, I don't think. Maybe I got one, but like it's, uh, I kind of wish you had to see them. I know older Harvest Moon games are like that. You had to see one hard event before the next one and you had to see them all to propose and stuff. getting the uh, higher quality hammers and stuff, but we're gonna have to wait a bit before before that. No, right? The only thing that's like even kind of similar to that in Stardew uh, for clearing just like sheer quantities would be like a bomb, right? Yeah, the puppy cutscenes in Doraemon, I, I remember that too. Good memory. Yeah, once I figured out with that game, pretty much you, the main thing was getting the cutscenes. Became a lot more straightforward, but up until then, I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, going for Shane. It's so much more development expanded. Oh, really? I'm glad that his room gets cleaned up. That's really fun. I love what the modding community has done for Stardew. Not that Stardew was not amazing on its own. I missed just as he went down. I did, I did, and then I know there was a lot of like wanting to name things in like Final Fantasy VII runs and stuff. Uh, airboat. It was an interesting run. Uh, and if you guys missed that during the AGDQ speedrunning event for Portal. Uh, we had a, a runner come on who did the airboat percent, like Rebecca just said. And pretty much they went through the entirety of Portal 1 without using a single portal. So, um, they kind of just spawned in airboats to get everywhere. <laughs> it was, it was very amusing. Do I not have a ladder for this floor? I like Shane, but I mostly befriend him for the blue chickens. Yeah, I have to admit I'm guilty of that too. No, it's it's not a cheat. Apparently, it is not a cheat. It's a valid, valid part of Portal. Hey Cam, how are you doing?
keyboard that wants to press enter before I'm done typing. That's a mood. Yeah, the mining's pretty nice. Um, it doesn't feel too tedious. I, I never have minded this. Minded. <laughs> Um, and I know later on as well. Uh, I think it's a mini game you can do actually. There's like these like sections where you just have to clear out as many rocks as possible. It was a lot of fun actually. I don't remember how you unlocked that. I feel like it's gonna be around the third mine maybe. Try to get the challenge achievements for fewest portals by using the air box. Yeah, cause that is, you know, a valid way to do it. Yeah, you don't have to use the hoe, yeah. It's still- oopsies. It's still, like, useful in there for, like, the little dirt spots or whatever, but not necessary. Okay, cool. So we're coming up for Jack's birthday here tomorrow. We do have the statue for him. from coffee. Uh, having Lady Grey from your fancy antique cup. Oh, that sounds very nice. All right, let's go to bed. Oh, good job, me. <laughs> Good job. I feel like, um, I don't know, the days in this game I wouldn't say go by slowly, but I definitely feel like I'm not rushing them either. It's kind of a nice pace. Oh, Tater is almost fully befriended. Our best boy. I'm excited. Maybe when we get him fully befriended, we'll look into getting our Ollie. <laughs> That was going to be a cutscene, just the way it loaded there. Uh, let's get you a treat, buddy. Come on, treat. There we go. For uh, our pet owner friends in here, what is your uh, what are your pet's favorite sort of treats? Do you guys have, do they have preferences? Or are they just the type to eat anything? Ollie... Uh, is not massive on the, uh, the, like, Whiskas temptations or whatever. He's like, he'll eat them. Yeah, he's not big on the poultry ones in particular, Mike was just saying. Um, but he will have some, like, you know, just plain chicken. No, obviously no sauce, no seasoning, nothing like that, if we offer him. Uh, but he loves his churro tubes, which we found very recently, <laughs> like in the last like year, I think. Um, found out he loves those. Churro gravy treats, they're like cat gogurts. Yep. <clears throat> yep, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> My dog Smokey will eat anything. Daisy prefers softer treats. Oh no, Blue, I hate that. <laughs> I hate that. So unlucky. Um, and then the other thing- <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. Uh, the other thing Ollie really likes that he is not allowed. <laughs> but he's still- like, like, you know, we'll try to find them if he can. He likes, um, dryer sheets. Like, after they've been in the dryer. I'm like, you know, you're you're folding your laundry and stuff, and he'll come like gremlining his gremlining, it's a new word, uh, his way into the room and like try to find him. I've been super into treats because I just never buy them. Got some recently though to help train the kittens to come back inside. Yes, when they escape. Always a good idea to have that. 
um, ingrained into them from an early age. Should we name Dash something else? Maybe Sit or Stay? Because he just lives up to his name. Oh, that's a cute name, though. Peanut butter or blueberry. Old Mother Hubbard treats. Take on the champion ballad. It's hilarious how despite not even having one full heart, Link still slays every monster all the same. For Roche, best of luck. I know that one took me a while. Oh, I never handed in those pictures for the museum. That just reminded me. Gotta get on that, chat. I'm kind of glad we don't have a dryer because that sounds like something Pancake would do. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, Tiger was never really a treat cat. He just wanted to be held at all times. Um, so that was his sort of affection or preference of reward. Um, so much so that if he was just laying on the floor and you just kind of reached out and tapped him with your foot, he'd be like, yes, I am being pet. <laughs> I am happy. It is clear, yes, I'm going to give him the, the present. Uh, Brush our cat who's part Maine Coon right now. Yes, very fluffy. you got to keep on top of it. Um, what else? Kiara was an absolute treataholic. Um, she would also remember. If you ever once put a treat in a certain spot, she would check there daily to see if there was any more. <laughs> like, she would get very into it. Um, and then the other weird thing, and apparently this is just cats being weird. Um, Tiger loved the smell of chlorine. Um, so when we had our outdoor pool here still open, obviously hasn't been open since COVID, um, during the summers, my mom would come back upstairs and he would just be all over her legs, just inhaling, <laughs> being a little gremlin. I am glad I caught you. You wouldn't happen to be a resident of this town, would you? Uh, I am. Great, I'm... Will we say Jean? Maybe? I don't think it's Jean. I think it, it might be Jean. And you? My gosh, your name's Crystal. I have a relative on my mother's side of the family named Crystal. Small world. What if I name myself something really weird? <laughs> oh my god, your name's Buttface? I have a relative on my mother's side of the family named Buttface. Small world. <laughs> anyway, back on topic. I actually got hired for a job here. I'm supposed to start work today. The mayor told me he was going to meet up with me here, but maybe he forgot? Oh, sorry to spring this on you, but do you think you could take me over to the beauty salon? What you call an uh, aesthetician? I'm told I have a magic styling finger so I can get you all dolled up however you like. Love new treats we got. And my four-year-old loves giving them treats. Oh, so you had to hide the bag. Oh. So this is the beauty salon Karina opened. Fancy. Sincerest apologies, honestly, of all the days to oversleep. Good to see you found your way, though. Uh, are you a customer? I'll be up in the store soon, so if you could line up by the door. Uh, you're Jean, correct? Uh, how do you know my name? Why, because I'm the mayor, of course. The name's Victor. Apologies again for being late to meet you. Oh, Groovy. It's nice to meet you, Mr. Mayor. So you probably already introduced yourselves to each other, but this is Jean. She'll be working with Karina at the beauty salon. We're looking forward to having her with us. But we celebrate my first day with a face treatment on the house for one lucky customer. Any takers? Um, I'll give it to the mayor. Me? Why me? <laughs> Bittens also loves treats. I feel a bit guilty if I give him too many. Yeah, it's a it's a fine balance not giving him too many, even if it's really cute and they enjoy it. Oh, hello, birthday boy. I always fall asleep when I get a haircut. <laughs> I don't think I could ever. I'm too anxious. Awesome, today's my birthday! Man, I'm so lucky! Yay! 
friends. <laughs> oh, we got him up to three hearts with that chat. Holy crap. And he's not really high up there in our little poll. <laughs> but yay, still. Uh, horse mackerel. Okay, I can get you one of those. Got a long mirror, deluxe fodder, an egg sandwich. Can I just, like, give this to what's-his-face? Let's see. Give this to what's-his-face is very descriptive. I just realized. I'm sorry. No, you don't want that? Alright, fair enough. I'll eat it. What's the first thing we got? Oh, tea leaf seeds. Can be sown in spring, summer, and autumn. With proper care, they'll grow in delicious full body tea leaves 12 days after planting. I wonder if I should plant those ahead of time right now, actually. Because it says into spring and summer, so... It probably doesn't matter that the seasons change. Like, crops. Yeah, I think they do too. Yay! Alrighty, I need some more watering done. Okay, so that means we have one, two, three, four, and five different spots left open for other crops. I got a mirror. There we go. And I need more kitchens. Can I get a new fridge? Or is fridge space tied to your house upgrade in this game? Because that's gonna suck if it is. I'm just gonna put those in there. Um and maybe that in there as well. Let's see. Um, right, museum. Oh, and the horse mackerel. I'll do that first. I don't really know what the upgrading the fishing rod does in this one, if it just makes it less likely that your line is going to break. Oh, we also put down fishing traps, didn't we? Oh. I got my horse mackerel, but did that break the net? Yeah, I wish it was like, you know, I wish I could just put bait in it like like Stardew, I guess. <laughs> I got a really high quality fish, though. I did, yeah. We, we got him up to like four hearts now. Three hearts, I think it was, so. Oh, look at how big that little heart is. I like the heart system in this game. I like the different color changing hearts in other games, but the fact that it's like slowly expanding in this space. Did you pick up any weird treasures on the farm? I'm into odd stuff like that. Actually, I've got a secret collection going. Yeah, having several uses would have been, would have been nice. There you go. I don't need that out anymore. Uh, and museum, I'm not gonna keep forgetting. I'll get this eventually. Um, Alright, so first off this. Alrighty, and then second... I think it's... Let me take... Oh no, I actually haven't donated that one. I think that was the bird I had a bit of a breakdown over last time. Uh, just because <laughs> its model is so cute, it's so plump. We'll see it, I guess, tomorrow. The 
this is some gen, like, early gen, early gen, early uh, years of Animal Crossing having to donate things one at a time. There you go. Tater? Tater? Coming? Tater? Buddy? No, he is walking with me. <laughs> I think I borked Tater. Okay. There's my glasses back. Picture of a bear, even though I have like five honey makers standing together. Oh, is that what you need for that? Oh, well, there we go. We got our glasses. Yay. Awesome. So what's this one? Change appearance. Is this just all the basic options? I think this is all just the basic stuff from the beginning. I don't think there's any new options. It's a ponytail. I'm just gonna leave that all the same. Oh! Tater! <laughs> tater, please! Send the fossils away to be appraised by another museum before you could finally donate them. Yeah, it was... It was weird. I don't actually know. There must be a reason why they did it that way. I, I would have no idea why, though. Oh, maybe it does need to be a specific season. That's an idea. Okay, um... Let's see here. So, we needed a whole whack of... of the solid lumber, I know. For the big project we're working on, which is opening up the third area. Oh, Tater just kind of- I think he's a little glitched out right now, you guys. Fair warning. I just saw him spawn in randomly. Oh, see? Watch out behind me. He'll just kind of- I think his running animation might be a bit broken. Okay, uh, solid lumber, silver, and mortar. So 50, 20, 50. Yeah, Tater's a little- little under the weather. He'll be fine, though. It's a little spooky, actually. <laughs> Tater, please. <laughs> oh, wow. I could do this one right now. Uh... Oh, and we're so close to being able to do this one, too. Wow. Uh, I'm going to make sure I put on some more of this here, actually. Oh, you want Tater takeover? But are you ready? Let's see. There he is. Tater, you're not broken here. You don't have your controller, though. Wrong one. That'll work. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy your Tater takeover. If one Tater doesn't work, use the other. <laughs> we must have a Tater. Okay, uh, and then I just needed mortar, and I only need five more of that, actually. We can finish this today. Uh, depending on how long that takes, actually. Uh, almost today. <laughs> uh, so, I need some clay. I wonder if I can hand these in individually, or if I have to hand them in all together. We can go take a look. Um, but for the meantime, I am gonna have some tree chopping and some cleaning up to do. What are we working on? The third area here. Um, the requirements were uh, 50 solid lumber, 20 silver, and 50 mortar. Or 20k gold. 
And I'm gonna go for the... Uh, the materials, obviously. walk away from the stump before I'm done chopping it. I don't know why I do that. I don't know if that's from a certain game or something I've been playing where I just feel like that's okay to do, but... Oh, oh the suction pump! Yay, we unlocked that. Oh, these aren't quite done yet. It's looking close, though. to do my best to leave these trees to grow fully in um, just because I feel like we don't have as much of the normal wood as I would like to have pretty bad damage there Nova yeah I'm just glad you know no one was uh, seriously injured or anything. What would I need to make this suction pump? Uh, brick? Oh yes, now I remember why we need brick. <laughs> and, uh, and that. Okay, so that's cl okay. That's where clay comes in then. Yeah, emotionally not absolutely, and like that's a really weird place to be as well. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. I appreciate that. There we go. All right, let's try to get this as clear as possible. Get back our resources as well that we're spending on the new area. Before I really start chopping trees in the next zone, I'm gonna have to go into the mines and get myself some, uh... Actually, wait a minute. Oh! Never mind, I just need to upgrade to silver, to be honest. I think that's kind of the biggest thing right now, is I, uh... I'm slow chopping these trees, I'm sure I'm gonna be even slower in the next zone, so... Friendly reminder, by the way, you guys, we're coming up for our halfway mark of stream, which is usually when I go on a break, just like I plan to um, soon here. Uh, but that also means the end of our poll for who I am marrying in game. If you haven't had the chance to vote yet, please feel free. Even if you don't know any of the bachelors or bachelorettes in this game, that's fine. You can just choose who you think looks the nicest. Uh, I think we can already tell who we're probably going to be going with. Unless something really drastic happens in the last little bit here. But yeah, my, my future is in your hands, chat. Vote to marry a cow. <laughs> I mean... There we go. Look at this, all cleared out. Well, I mean almost, but it's better than it was, am I right? There we go, we're gonna need lots of clay to make the brick for the, uh, the suction pump. Because uh, I seem to remember you get a lot of goodies from draining the lakes and it does take a while. Uh, but I remember it being pretty worthwhile to do, so. 
I think the only downside, um, these like little puddles here, you can get rid of those using your hammer once it's been drained. But the bigger ones, I don't think you could. And they'll just kind of refill. <laughs> Catherine the cow! Oh my god, we're gonna become a parent so much faster than we thought then. I think. I don't know how long cows have their babies for. and clear. Of course we still have some little trees. Oh, tater. Little trees popping up here and there. But it's a lot better than when we first got here. Alright, how are we doing? Can we open up the new area today? No, oh, it might be tomorrow. That's okay though. We're definitely, definitely gonna get it. Vincent. We'll see you later. Thank you so much for hanging out with us for a bit uh, for today. Um, alrighty. Let's go to bed. Or, you know, at least save. <laughs> Saving is a good idea first. Alrighty, you guys. So, I'm due for a stretch break. If you guys want to join me, get up stretch grab yourselves a drink and or a snack and or go say hi to your animals i don't know go do something or just hang out and watch the brb videos if you are heading out thank you so much for hanging out with us this morning um if you would like oh you just came back pepper <laughs> if you would like to feel free to drop a follow like i've been saying i stream every day except for thursdays and fridays normally and for like the next couple days if not weeks at least we're going to be streaming this game so if you're here for farming sim content you came to the right place uh, enjoy the brb videos and i'll be back soon you guys thank you so much for being here